hello everyone welcome back to this channel i'm ella and in this video we are going to learn everything about stairs we are going to focus on creating them with a sketch because this is something that we can use in our project and it's honestly very helpful so for creating architecture stairs we need to go to architecture tab and in here click on this stair if you go to properties you can see different types of them in here we're going to use this monolithic stairs in this part, in constraint part, you can see we have two levels, our base level and top level, and we have offsets for them so we can set the right position for our stair. After that, we have this desired number of stairs which is set on 14 for this height for our room. And if we change it, you will see that this actual riser height will change. So I'm going to put it on, for example, 17. And you see that this number decreased accordingly in here we have different types of stairs we have this straight stairs these two spiral stairs and l and u stairs you might need them in some cases but this is something that we are going to work on today for creating a stair with a sketch we have three main parts that you need to follow first we have this riser if you draw a line with this riser which is on black color it means you have one step one thread you can see this number and remaining ones from here this is just some lines that i had created to have like actual and real numbers and dimensions for a stair so i'm going to use this pick line and i'm going to select this line here after that i'm going to create the other risers with an offset of like 25 centimeter and then i'm going to just simply click on this part and create my risers like this but however we don't need to follow these lines accordingly this part should be our landing so if i create some spaces in here this step will become our landing so i'm going to continue with this line and here and i'm going to create exactly 17 lines the next part is this boundary line boundary line should be a line in green color as you can see and it should touch each riser from beginning to end if you want to create boundary for this part you need to draw a line from this part to here and from this part to here you shouldn't close your stair with this green line with this boundary line it should always be open the third part is this stair path with this you can assign the path the up and down of your stair and depending on which part you are starting and drawing your line and the start and end of your stair will change and now you can simply hit finish okay this is how our stair looks let's look at it from this elevation as you can see we have one step away from this thread and our stair is not fit to this level but why we have something like this Select your stair and go to its edit stair. Select it again and if you scroll down in this part, you can see that your actual number of risers it's not, is not equal to the number of threads. For fixing this, you just need to uncheck this part. And now if you click outside again, you just need to increase this number to match it with this riser. And now you can see that everything is in its place let's move on to the next stair this one is one of the most common stairs that we use so for creating one in this type you need to go to stairs again and with this sketch click on this riser first and with this pick line option click on here set your offset on let's say 20 or 25 and draw your stairs in here I'm going to create seven stairs in this part and seven stairs on the other side. You can also use mirror for this. Now for creating our boundary, select it and draw a line around your stair like this. The point is because these two stairs are separated and their path is different, we need to create another boundary in here. As I said, our boundary line should touch all of riser so i'm going to create one from this point to here and i'm going to delete this part 
It's better to leave some spaces between this riser and this end of your boundary. Even if it's one millimeter, it will work better. Then we are going to create our stair pass, which is from this part to here and then to this part. Now you can hit finish and you will face no error or warning. Okay, let's go to 3D to see how this looks like. If you look at it from elevation, you can see that we have the same problem here. So select it, go to edit is there, select it again and uncheck this box. Now go out and decrease this number to 30. Okay. Let's go and add some detail to our stair. Select it and go to its edit type. Click on this run type here and first let's add some threads. Check this box and set the thickness of your threads to whatever number that you want. I'm going to set it on 3 and if you apply you will see this thread in each step. In this part you can change its profile to some default profiles like this or you can simply create your own profile and add it to this project so you can use it on your threads. I have talked so much about profiles and if you want to learn how you can create one you can watch these videos here. Another thing that you can add to these threads is this nosing. I'm going to set it on 2 cm and I'm going to use this default profile. Perfect. You see this distance, this 2 cm distance in here is our nosing and this thickness is that 3 cm thickness that we set for our thread. You can also add risers to your stair. Go back to your run type and just check this box here. With this number you can change the thickness of your profile and this part you can change its profile. Apply and see how it look like. Let's change this one to... 2 cm for example and also if you want your riser to be slanted with a special degree you can check this box here like this there's also another option in here which is the way that you want to connect your thread with your riser now it is on extend riser behind threads it means that your riser this part is behind your thread let's change it to thread under riser so your thread will go under your riser and there's also a third mode that joins your riser and thread together and if you apply you can see no line in here and simply your thread and riser will be joined together if you go up to this part to this material and finishes you can change the material of your thread and riser with these materials here i'm going to create another material for them real quick and I'm going to call it thread. Just change its color to something brown like this. So we have kind of wood in here. Okay. I'm going to assign the same material for this riser too. And okay. Let's move on to the third stair. For this, I'm going to change this number of risers to something more like 20. And then I'm going to start from this part and create like 8 risers in here with let's say 23 centimeter offset. And another set for this part or just simply copy or mirror them to the other side. We have 8 in this part and 8 in here and we are going to create 4 other risers in this part. So I'm going to use this line and start from here. Now I'm going to move this down and this part closer. Then I'm going to click on this boundary and draw it around my risers. For this inner side, I'm going to use it on rectangle and I'm going to create it exactly in this part. And then I will delete this line. I suggest if you want to create these two parts exactly from one point, at least leave one millimeter gap for its boundary just to face no error. The third part is this stair and I'm going to draw it from here to here and then this part to here. Uncheck this box and hit finish. Let's change the thickness of this part. For this you need to select your stair and go to its edit type. In this part you need to go to construction 
part and change this structural depth. Let's put it on, for example, 30 centimeter. You can increase this to whatever number that you want and fill all of these spaces in here. If you go to its plan view, you can see this cut line in here. If you want to change it, you need to change the view plan and you need to do it from this part. Click on here and change this cut pattern offset to let's say 2 and it will move to here or let's change it to 1.5 like this if you want to change its shape you need to go to edit this there and go to its edit type in here you can change your cut mark type click on this part and if you want you can change its line to double line or change its distance from let's say two millimeter to one or five let's go with five you can change its extension to let's say two millimeter you can change its line angle from 25 to whatever you want i'm going to leave it like this and also you can change its symbol to for now let's check this curve and also the size of your symbol let's apply and see how it will look like not that much good honestly i'd rather use that default line cut let's move on to stair number four as other stairs we are going to set this number and then draw over stairs on these lines Since we set it on 20 risers, we need to have exactly 20 riser line in here. For its boundary, I'm going to draw a line from this part to here. And for it, this interior side, I'm going to do something like this. And then I'm going to trim them together. Now for this stair pass, I'm going to start from here to here. And I'm going to end in this part. Make sure this part is unchecked and hit finish. Perfect. This is also one of the most common used stair types and you see how simple you can create them. You just need to change the angle of these risers. Actually, if you want to have the best stair, you need to do it and design it before and then import it to here and just simply select all of those lines. This way your stair will be much more accurate. For this corner in here, I think if we change the boundary, we can fix this. So let's go to its edit sketch and create another line, boundary line from this point to here. And trim it with these lines. I think now it's much better. Another way that you can use this is to uncheck these threads and only use this structural depth, for example, on 10 cm. We see these kind of stairs a lot in interior designs. Let's move on to the next step. It might look hard to create something like this, but if you look closely, it looks exactly like this, but with its risers rotated and some curves. Exactly like other stairs, you need to go to a stair and this sketch pattern, set your riser numbers in this part first, and then select these lines if you have created them before or do it yourself first i'm going to draw these risers from these points i'm going to pick them simply like this and you need to pick them by order you shouldn't select this one and then this one and then this you need to do them exactly after one another now i will select boundary and draw it around my shape and after that i'm going to select this start and end radius arc and i'm going to draw it from this point to here to this part in this part we need to extend these lines toward this boundary line so we don't face any warning so i'm going to use this multiple extend and then i'm going to click on this part and all of these risers here don't forget to draw your stair pass. I'm going to do it with this start and radius arc exactly like this. And then hit finish. Awesome, it looks so classic. Now you know how you can create curves on stairs. Let's move on to this one. Honestly, if you create them with this spiral default stairs, it will be much easier. 
but if you want to create them yourself you saw it was pretty simple so for this as others i'm going to click on this sketches there and i'm going to use this peak line for risers and for this boundary i'm going to use this circle from this part to here and another one from this point to this part and i use this cut split element in here and here and then i'm going to cut these boundary lines with these risers for its stair pass again i'm going to use this circle like this and i'm going to cut it and move it to these parts let's change it into something more industrial go to its properties and put it on industrial and assembly for controlling these stringers you need to select them and go to their edit type in here you can change their material or their profile let's change this one to 30 10 looks better and change its width to let's say two centimeter perfect and if you select your stringer you can see there is this vertical cut or this perpendicular which is something like this there's also another option which is horizontal cut that gives you a look like this i think this vertical cut is much better now that we reached to this part i believe you know everything about creating a stair with a sketch you know how to use boundaries risers and also a stair paths so let me know if you can create a stair for this plan it might look a bit scary but i tested it and i was successful and just let me know if you can model it so yes that's it i hope this was useful for you and you enjoyed watching this tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next tutorial bye